Hello and welcome to Go East Festival for Central Eastern European Film. Uh, my name is Dominik Streib and I'm the program coordinator of the festival. Next to me on the TV screen, as it gets to inhabit in these times, uh, there is uh, Vinko Brezhan, the director of What a Country, a film which was in our competition section uh, this year. And so uh, welcome you, uh, Vinko, to Wiesbaden Digitally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I would rather like to be in this part in uh, person. Thank you for your wonderful movie, uh, What a Country. Uh, I really liked uh, watching the film. And um, the film uh, is dealing basically with uh, some tra traumas of history. And uh, there are different episodes with a general which is haunted by suicide and a minister who is locking himself up in a memorial cell. And also for older guys who, who steal the, the corpse of the Croatian president, Franjo Tuchman. And in my opinion, you intermingle these episodes in a really wonderful way. You repeat scenes with some little changes and also make it kind of fluid. Is it a dream? Is it reality? So maybe you can tell me something about the general concept of the film and how you develop the, the screenplay with these different episodes. And also maybe you can say something about the shooting process. I have to start from the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, uh, my screenwriter, screenwriter of the film, Mate Matisic, uh, and me, a few years ago, we, ha we have discussed what to do now, what to say, what is important to say in Croatia. And uh, uh, we start to talk about uh, uh, national uh, uh, problems, about national nightmares. We still live uh, uh, in a, uh, one, with one leg, uh, uh, not, not literary, but uh, we still live in, with one leg uh, in the grave of first Croatian president, Franz Tuchman. Uh, we live surrounded by suicide of the, of the uh, 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 war veterans. Uh, we, we, we live in a very, very corrupted state where the, every, every few moments we have some minister in a, in a prison. And we want to make a film about that. But generally, we wanted to make a film uh, about Croatian nightmare. And uh, that is the uh, answer why, the, uh, uh, why film uh, about that subject have a form of the nightmare. Everybody in this film has very, very bad dreams. And uh, uh, that nightmare is unfortunately real. And uh, that is the reason why, why we made that film uh, in that way. Well, uh, well, shooting is may, may, maybe, maybe not so important, but uh, uh, always is important. But uh, from my point of view, shooting is uh, uh, execution. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I always prepare film in a way that uh, uh, shooting is, let's make what everything uh, uh, we prepare. We, uh, we, uh, we found uh, a good location. Uh, act uh, uh, actors uh, uh, know their text, they know what, what, they have, uh, uh, what they have to act. We, have, we had very, very good rehearsals. More interesting was uh, finding the money for, the, for that kind of film. It's not so easy because we, had, uh, a we, we, we got money from a Croatian film fund, but uh, Croatian television refused us uh, for that film. But we got money from Serbian film fund, we got money from uh, a Poland film fund, and finally we got money for Poland television. It's interesting. Poland television found themselves in that film and Croatian television didn't find themselves. Okay, that's life. But uh, when, when we closed our financial construction, we, we, we uh, tried shooting. And shooting was 36 days, I, I think. But shooting was, uh, uh, it's very hard to say easy. We have a, a problem with the, uh, when we, we have to, uh, with shooting or stealing of coffin of Rania Tujman because we have to build in a studio uh, a similar uh, uh, graveyard uh, like Rania Tujman had in the, in, the, in the cemetery. And that was a trick, a lot of visual effects, etc. That was interesting. But uh, in Croatia, 
some people thought that I really opened a, 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 a grave of Franja Tuzman. I said it's impossible because no health service will uh, approve us to open the grave. Yeah, yeah. And uh, especially they won't allow it for football players, as in your film. <laughs> uh, that was uh, funny, but I got allowed. Uh, I got allowed uh, from a, a Croatian national uh, a team uh, uh, society. Because we have, I don't know what the English said for that, a Croatian uh, a national football team, actually. I got uh, permission for that to use the uh, dress of those oh, okay. four, four players. But you have to know, uh, I shoot that film before World Championship. Oh, okay. Before, a few months before, uh, I, I, made, I, I made the shooting. Uh, those names are not so popular in the in the, in the moment I, I shoot. <laughs> okay, so, so uh, if we are now at the grave of the president, maybe, uh, I mean, your film is overtly political and uh, also um, with the steel of the coffin of Ranjo Tuchman. So uh, maybe let's get back to this uh, topic a bit, the, the personality cult of a president, of a leader or something. Because after the coffin of the president is stolen, the government is just focused on the coffin. They don't care about the, the grave digger who is now in his grave and, and has nothing to eat, to drink. He's completely unimportant. Everything is focused on the coffin of Franjo Tuchman. And also the president one time says uh, to his ministers, imagine when in the future they are will stealing our coffins. So everything is focused on this coffin, on the leader. Maybe you can uh, talk a bit about uh, your opinion for this personality cult in general and also uh, specifically in Croatia in regarding Franjo Tuchman. Well, Franjo Tuchman was autocrat. Uh, and we still live uh, in his shadow. Uh, and every government is afraid of that Franjo Tuchman. Uh, but when you say a man from the grave who is uh, uh, locked in the, in the grave of Frank Tuchman, uh, it's a small role. I love that actor who, who take that part uh, uh, here. But on the premiere, on every premiere, on every screening, he got great applause. <laughs> but great applause, standing ovation, because uh, uh, we... Uh, All audience uh, identification is with him. We are locked in, in the grave of Franja Tuchman still. And we cannot get out from there. That's a, that is my answer uh, uh, about, about Franja Tuchman and, and our situation now. Uh, I mean, when I watch it, I don't, don't think I was in there, but yes, I mean, it's a kind of a metaphor for... for, for of for, course, for, because for, he's working uh, class. Yeah, for, for sure. Class uh, he's working class, stuck in the grave. Yeah, and that's a very, yeah, nice point, yeah, which I didn't get when viewing it, yes. So this is one layer of the political themes in the film, but there are so many. So maybe get to one another because here the the, the government everything uh, is dealing with all these troubles with uh, the suicidal general, which they don't accept that he want to suicide himself. The minister who is locked up in the memorial cell. They the government want to to do everything secretly without. Uh, Uh, getting something out to the public or to the to also to their own institutions, they solve it by themselves. So, what do you think about that? Well, that's in my opinion about politicians generally. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm talking about Croatian politician. Of course, uh, uh, to be politician uh, is not necessary uh, a lousy job. It's not necessary a corrupted job. But That's the way uh, I look at a uh, uh, Balkan way, uh, how we look in Balkan uh, see politicians. Uh, from my point of view, every politician is thinking about uh, his next man. Nothing else. Everything is not important. Even human lives. Uh, every, uh, every politician is focused to be Uh, in next four years to be prime minister, president of minister of whatever. Uh, that is only uh, 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 what they, they are interested in. Mm -hmm. to, be, to, to have a next mandate, to, yeah. to be, to be uh, a politician uh, again, to be prim, prime minister again, to be president again. 
uh, bec uh, and uh, uh, that is this is only important for them. Uh, every everything else is uh, nothing. For that, uh, they have to be clean. Uh, 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 media uh, have to know, doesn't know anything about them uh, wrong, etc., etc. Yes, they just want to keep their power for 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 a long time. <laughs> Um, mm. So, uh, <clears throat> in one interview I, I read, and I have to disagree a bit with you because you said you you doesn't regard what a country as a as a comedy, because you said you uh, have made this film out of of, of something sad, of, out of disappointment. But for me, at least as a spectator of the film, I, I really had to laugh, and it's a, for me it's a black political comedy. And so <clears throat> maybe you can give me uh, some thoughts beca because I also think that uh, that humor or irony really can come from something sad or from disappointment or maybe it's maybe also sometimes irony or humor is the only way to deal with. Uh, generally, I, I don't like to put uh, any film in some genre boxes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, of course, uh, if you have a reaction of laughing, it's a probably comedy. Uh, uh, if a reaction of audience are laughing, uh, it's a probably comedy. But uh, uh, I, I always like to say it's a tragedy with humor discourse. It's much easier for me to say that uh, because uh, that's the way uh, that's the way I think. Uh, that's the way that's the way I, I do the films. That's not my first film. It's my fifth film. I, I made uh, uh, from that six. I made five films that uh, film critics. Even film audience said that's a comedy. I, uh, they recognize those films as a comedy. Even this film, What a Country, audience and film critics recognize that film as a comedy. But uh, I don't see that way. Uh, I made a drama with uh, a lot of humor because uh, humor is my way of thinking. Uh, when I make a film, I always ask myself, what would uh, Louis Buñuel make from this scene? Uh, 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 the, and 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 I, oh, oh, I always my answer is I'm not that, that brave. I'm not such a brave man and such a brave director to make the scene what Luis Buñuel could do. Yeah, the least one of us will would do that. <laughs> um, so maybe uh, as a last question, uh, do you have some uh, future projects which are going on? I mean, you have been in the editing room uh, today, and uh, will you digging deeper in the Croatian history with the uh, with your future films? Well, uh, uh, my future film is uh, will be performance performance of Hamlet in a village uh, Mrdušado. It's a very, very famous Croatian play. Uh, a playwright is my late father. This means I have no problem with the uh, author's right. Uh, and I wanted to make that uh, film now because uh, I think that that film is talking about uh, ruling of primitivism in Croatia. And I think it's time to talk about that. Thank you, Minko, first of all, for your wonderful film and also for your time uh, and giving us some great insights into the movie. I hope we will meet uh, 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 in the garden as, yeah. as possible, of course. Or somewhere else. <laughs> Or Just in real. <laughs> well, small and time is endless. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and uh, to our audience, you can watch What a Country at X Ground On Demand, as well as our other competition films. And on this platform, you can also vote for our audience award, which will be given uh, this year for the first time. And so enjoy the films.